Welcome everybody. Hey. hey. So I've just seen I can more or less skip the keynote because you've already seen it in the film. Um, you've you've seen how to get the best or the most out of a tech conference or actually out of almost any conference out there. Um, short introduction to myself. I'm Andreas. Um, I'm a father. I'm a husband. I'm a forestry scientist, a construction draftsman. I'm brewing my own beer. I'm uh, building a house. I'm doing some open source contributions. Um, I'm co-organizing my own user group. I'm, uh, I started a thing called php.ug to locate user groups. And besides all that, I started speaking at conferences and attending conferences. And well, here I am. Yay. I'm at a tech conference. At least I hope so. Um, tech conference, wow. A lot of people here and they all know so much. At least that was my impression when I joined my or attended my first conference. It was like, wow, hundreds of people and they all know so much and all these speakers, they are awesome and I know so little. For whom of you is this the first conference they attend? I don't believe some of you, but there were a few hands. So don't worry, you aren't the only one attending your first conference. There are others that might think the same. Just keep that in mind. For me, that was overwhelming because no one told me that, that I'm not the only one feeling that way. And to be quite honest, almost Everyone here feels that way. Who of you feels that the others know much more than yourself? Have a look around. Oh, come on. <laughs> so that's not really an issue. We all think the others know more than we. So that's the main thing to to remember when you approach others, when you hear others talk. They might know a lot on their topic, but you might know a lot on another topic. Keep that in mind. So if it's your first time, don't be afraid. All of us are nervous, even me. Well, probably I'm the person most nervous at the moment. And um, keep also in mind, a lot of us feel this imposter syndrome. Who doesn't feel that? That's a lot of people here. They all think others know more. They all think, what am I doing here? Why am I here? Why do other people think I know so much? This conference is all about you. Here we go. This is all about you. You are, you all are the target of this conference. You are the reason why we are here today and tomorrow and on Sunday. You are the reason why a few people took a lot of effort and organized this conference. Organized this conference this year, they did it last year, the year before, under a different name. And probably they might do it next year as well. At least I hope so. You are the main target. You are the reason why we are here. So, how do you get the most out of that conference that you paid for? 
or probably your conference paid for? Well, the main thing is, of course, you attend sessions or you attend workshops and you get to know a lot of awesome stuff from people that, at least it looks like, know much more than you do. Remember, in their topic, they might know a lot more than you, but in other topics, you might know more than them. Usually, the talks, uh, the, the slides of the talks are uploaded afterwards. So you don't need to write everything down. Do it as you prefer for yourself. If you learn by writing, write it down. If you learn by uh, drawing, draw it down. Try sketch notes, but you don't need to copy everything. And the talks get recorded so you can even watch them afterwards. So you can even watch two talks at one slot because, well, you can attend one and you can watch the other one afterwards. Pretty cool. Have a look in, your, in the schedule. Check which talks you want to actually attend. Do that beforehand. There are three tracks, so there is plenty of stuff available. If you know Polish, there is even more available. Um, Unfortunately, I under, don't understand it, so I'm limited to the English tracks. Um, tweet about whatever you learn. Tweet about the slides you've seen. Take a picture if that helps you. But you don't need to copy everything. And use these sessions, especially the sessions, use them as an inspiration for yourself. You will get to know how a certain tool, feature, idea works. Don't expect the solution to your specific business problem. You will have to work that out for yourself. If you came with that expectation, I'm sorry to say you probably won't find it here. But you will get a pretty good impression of how you can solve your problem with certain tools because you now know, oh, that tool could help me. Or you even know, no, I thought that tool would be good, but what I've seen here it doesn't work for me. That's the main thing that you can take away from these sessions. The workshops are much more hands-on. After you attended a workshop, you should have fairly good understanding of how to use it. But that's not usually your specific use case, it's just an idea you get. It's just an inspiration. And then I said there is usually, uh, there's three tracks. There is actually four tracks. Who of you has heard of the hallway track? Okay, at least something I can tell you. There are three sessions at a given time. But not everyone attends one of these three sessions. So some people are just hanging around in the hallway. And that is the hallway track. And that might be the most important track for a conference. Because that's where you actually meet other people, where you can have conversations, where you can exchange ideas with other attendees, with speakers. And I personally know of some people that buy conference tickets, that buy conference tickets just to attend the hallway track, just to get to know people, to connect with other people. And that is an amazing thing. So with the ticket you bought, or your company bought, you not only get first-hand experience or inspirations, you also get, for free, so to say, the opportunity to connect with a lot of awesome people. With people that, as you do, programming PHP, 
You have the possibility to connect, to connect with speakers that know so much more than you do. So I encourage you, engage with others. Try to not keep to yourself. If you're here in a group from your company, try to connect with others. Try to get out of your comfort zone and try to meet other people. Get to know others. It gives you so much more insight into ways to solve problems. How do people in other companies solve probably the same thing that I'm struggling with? Just get, come to talk to others about ideas you have and to verify is that a problem? Is that a solution? Does that make sense or am I talking complete nonsense? Connect with others and become part of a community. I mean, here are 600, 800 people in the room. This is a community. Every one of you belongs to it just because you came here, just because you thought it is valuable to learn something. It's not only valuable to learn something, it's also valuable to connect with one another. You can only learn more from that. How does connecting work? Connecting usually starts with, with, the, with engaging, with participating in discussions. Who of you has heard of the Pac-Man rule of a conference? Probably only very few. The Pac-Man rule of a conference says if you are in a conversation with some people, try to leave a spot open. Try to leave a gap like a Pac-Man. So someone else can join in. Just leave a space open, others can join and you can only gain from that. And, and, hello, ah, here. So others can join. Don't fear. We don't bite. Neither of us, hopefully. Just keep a space open and allow others to join into your conversation. And if you want to join, do it. If there is a space open, take it. And then open the space up again. So just shuffle around a bit, make some more space, and at a certain point you will see the circle gets so large that you have two conversations going on anyway, so split off. And by doing that, you connect with others. This girl, she was awesome. I met her at a conference, it was her first conference, and she just engaged with everyone. She just asked and she just participated. And at the end of the conference, I was really, well, she just was a part. It was awesome. She just took the opportunity to go to people and ask them, how do you think? How do you do that? Or how would you think I should tackle this problem or that problem? And that was cool. And she never ever had the experience that someone said, ah, oh, no, I don't want to talk to you. Not at all. Most of the people I know, they're actually pretty friendly when you come up to them and ask them. It takes courage, definitely. Try to invest that. And engage in discussions. Just because I say something, that doesn't need to mean that I'm right. Because I know so much about my topic. I might be blind for a certain spot, or I just might be plainly wrong informed. Question whatever you hear, ask, but what about this kind of idea? What about this view? And you might realize that you 
bring people to think about what they think is right. And they might even realize, yeah, you're right, I was wrong at that point. That can happen. I remember having an argument with a well-known speaker. I have no idea what it was about. But the thing was, in the end, it was really like, yeah, you might be right. I might have been wrong. So it's not just in between you attendees. It's also for us speakers. I might not know everything. I definitely do not know everything. And f the main thing is don't fear. Go out, do it. You want to learn something? Learn something. Not only technically. We are developers, and as a developer on a technical conference, of course, the main focus is on tech. But tech is, as a lot of people here probably realize, only a way to solve issues. Only a way to solve problems that people have. So it's about people in the end. So get to know people, talk to people. And you will find there is no need to fear. It's about you. And there might be fear that you might not be treated right, that others might think you don't deserve to be here. This conference has a code of conduct. And this code of conduct, any code of conduct, tries to formalize ways how to behave in a case where you think you are harassed in a certain way. In a certain way. Have a look at the website. They have the code of conduct stated there. If you have any issues, go to any one of the organizers and tell them what your issue is and they will try to solve that. And usually they will not try to solve that by getting you out of the conference, but by tackling the issue and trying to, solve, to actually solve what happens. Don't fear. Go to the people that can help you. The main thing of such a code of conduct is, if you don't want to go to the website and read it, the main thing is, don't be an asshole. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And if we all live by that, that should work out fairly well. At least I hope so. So everyone here is here to learn. Everyone. Every single one. No matter what gender, what race, what sexual orientation, what color, what color of hair, what clothes, no matter what language, what framework, that's completely irrelevant. We are here to learn. And by having such a diverse number of attendees, of people here in the room, we can only learn more than when we just have one, care, uh, one color of hair. At least I hope so. And if you respect others, and if you respect the people next to you and treat them accordingly, you might become part of a community. So become part of the family. It's much more than just people. At least from what I've experienced, it's more like family. And as in every family, there is always uncle what not you don't want to go to and aunt whoever you can get along better. 
but we are all a family and we all want to achieve the same. We all want to solve problems. We all want to write cool software and solve problems with that. So you should connect with others on a regular basis. So after this conference is over and you've learned so much stuff in the three tracks and in the hallway track and after you met a lot of awesome people, you probably want to see them again and you don't want to wait till next year. So join a user group. Go to Slack. Have a look at IRC. Chat with people. You might even phone them if you have the number or you email them. Just get into contact, keep in contact. And try to get better. Find a mentor for yourself or mentor someone else. Or be a mentor and get mentored at the same time on a different topic. And of course, next year, visit a conference. Or if you want to, in two months' time, no idea when the next conference here in the area is. PHP Antwerp in January. PHP Scotland at the moment, well, tomorrow. Go out, meet others, go to a conference. And if you don't want to pay for the ticket, for the conference, and for the flight. Think about speaking at a conference. Start speaking at a user group. Get yourself out there and learn. Get out of your comfort zone and start to learn more. And one thing that will not give you information now, that will not give you now some new insight. But one thing you should do to get good, feed or good information next time is to... Oh, come on. Give feedback. Give feedback is vital to everyone. It's vital to the people that do the sessions. It's vital to the organizers. It's vital to the sponsors. So just go out and give them feedback. You can do that on Joined In. Uh, the link is somewhere on the website or in the uh, schedule. Um, give them a feedback. How did they? How did you find the talk? How did you find the keynote? What could improve? You won't get anything out of that now, but you will get anything out of it next time you're at this conference. Because the organizers will look at the feedback, and the speakers will look at the feedback, and they will improve their talks. And the organizers might probably not invite some people again, or they will invite other people because they have pretty awesome feedback on different conferences. So go out, give them feedback. And one of the best feedbacks you can give is thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you to the sponsors for making this possible because otherwise the ticket prices would be much higher. Say thank you to the speakers. Say thank you to the organizers. Say thank you to the people that program or maintain the library you use. Say thank you to the people that build the stuff you use. Just say thank you. Are there any questions so far? Well, then it's my turn to say thank you.